Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to encrypt Azure Data Factory with the customer managed keys. So let's take a look at what exactly that means and how it works. Azure Data Factory encrypts data at rest, including entity definitions and any data cached while runs are in progress. So that's very important for us. So it means it is already providing us some level of encryption. By default, data is encrypted with the randomly generated Microsoft managed key that is uniquely assigned to each data factory okay so now that's fine we have a one key that's automatically generated by microsoft manage keys and that's how we encrypt the azure data factory now for extra security guarantee you can now enable uh, bring your own key with customer manage keys feature in azure data factory when you specify customer managed key data factory uses both the factory key and the customer managed keys to encrypt the data so that's very important so you're putting extra layer of security and encrypting your data missing either would result in deny access to the data fact data and the factory so let's say you save your customer managed key in the key vault and somebody deleted it you will not be able to access the data and also a factory is not going to work for you so that's very important to understand now where you will save that uh, key you can save in the azure key vault okay now you can read all these details you have portal here you have user here portal powershell rest api and here is your data factory azure uh, active directory can come in handy here and then you have azure key vault where the key encrypted uh, and that's uh, you can make a sense out of it you can read all the details and uh, here uh, we are going to show you all that how to create that uh, key and uh, what permissions data factory need to get that key and then uh, finally what you have uh, right there this is very important a customer managed key can only be configured on empty data factory the data factory cannot contain any resource such as link service pipeline and data flows so it is recommended to enable enable a customer managed key right after the creation of the data factory so if you have already something going on and you try to do that is going to throw you an error is i believe it's called cmk uh, entity exists or something like that so you are not going to be able to create that uh, manage uh, uh, customer manage key okay if uh, they, it has some objects such as link services pipeline any any other objects are there so create a fresh data factory have this in plan already like hey i want to enable this feature on my data factory right away okay now the approach does not work uh, that's important too this approach the above one does not work with managed virtual network enabled factories so if you are creating your azure data factory and uh, you are enabling the managed virtual network uh, at the time of creation of azure data factory and later on you go and uh, try to create uh, the customer managed key uh, that's not going to work so for that one uh, if you want to create a managed virtual network enable data factory and also want to enable the customer uh, manage key then you will be using an alternative router what is that alternative router let's open that and show you so at that uh, you will do at the time of creating uh, the data factory you will go to advanced tab and here you will say enable encrypt uh, using a customer manage key so you will provide your manage key here and then uh, you will provide a user assign identity for the encryption you will provide that and then you will be good to go so let's go ahead and perform the demo and uh, uh, then we will learn all those techniques here so first of all what i need i need a key vault because i need to store the key so let's uh, go ahead and say key vault and uh, i'm going to click on key vault here it's going to ask me create so I'm creating a key vault in my subscription. I have a resource group called Tech Brothers the Resource Group, and I'm going to call it Tech Brothers Key Vault. Okay, that's the name of our key vault, and it's in East US. So there are some other restrictions as well. Like if you want to read all those details and everything, you should read that before even you create your other resources, such as see right there. Uh, key vault and data factory must be in the same Azure Active Directory then tenant and uh, in the same region, but uh, they may be in the different subscription So this is also one of the restriction or limitation. So anyways in my case uh, I have everything in my same subscription same region no big deal and uh, I can go ahead and create So this is a, a we are creating our key vault Once our key vault is created we are going to go ahead and create our key 
our key vault is ready let's go to the resource and uh, that's where we are going to see our key vault um, here is a tab called the keys so click on keys and here you can generate import keys let's click create uh, click on generate and import and here uh, we are not importing or we are not doing a restore and all that we are generating a new one and i'm going to call this one adf dash cmk customer managed key and uh, then uh, uh, dev okay so i will create a dev uh, data factory and uh, then i will use uh, this key right there okay so let's leave everything rsa uh, rsa key size and everything as it is if you want to set some activation date expiration date you can do that in my case i'm not interested so i'm going to just leave this one default so our key is created now what we need to do we need to go and create the azure data factory so i'm going to go to the portal again uh, right here and go to the data factories if you don't see this uh, icon there you can always search for data factories and uh, you're gonna see it like this uh, once you are there you're gonna go create uh, the data factory now right there select the resource group uh, and east us is just fine and i will say tech brothers adf uh, that's uh, and maybe i can put the dev name to it okay so that should be available let's see it is and uh, in the configuration i don't want the git and all that let's uh, create so we are creating our azure data factory so hit create our azure data factory is ready and we can go and open in our uh, studio azure data factory click right there so we are in uh, azure data factory studio right there and now we can uh, go to the uh, let's say author and see there is no pipeline there is no data set anything so then the monitoring problem uh, nothing has run so everything is okay so go to manage here and uh, you see that in the integration runtime you have auto resolve okay so if you have selected at a time of creating this you if you have say, selected manage uh, ir then uh, uh, it will not let you create it it will throw you error i'm talking about the customer manage key if you try to create it with the managed ir this is a uh, okay auto resolve is fine so we are going to go to the manage uh, customer manage key here and now we are going to add the key to it hit add and now it's asking you what is your azure key vault url so if I will go ahead and uh, now if you guys remember so I can go to the key vault and uh, in the key vault we have this uh, keys right so this key is called the ADF CMK dev I can click here and now I can copy this uh, URL okay key identifier so I can go to the Azure data factory here and paste it right there but what's gonna happen if I will try to save it it's gonna throw us some error because we have not provided permission to our Azure Data Factory to the key vault. So see right there, create or update failed the Data Factory Manage Identity does not have access to the customer manage key vault. That's a problem. So we have to go back to our key vault and in the key vault we have to provide permission. So we are going to go to the access policies. In the access policies, I'm going to add access policy and here I'm going to select. So in the permissions, first of all, you need to get. That's what you need and then you need unwrap key and wrap key that's what you need so these three things you need okay now second part what you need here you're going to click on none selected in the principle so click right there and then it's going to ask you uh, what objects and all that right in my case uh, i'm going to call tech brothers so let's see what we have found here so see tech brothers adf dash dev that's my data factory so i'm adding that one select and now we are all good hit add and you can see my permissions on the key so i have get unwrap and wrap okay so that's will save now my azure data factory should be able to access the key vault and the key is sitting right there so it should be having no problem accessing this key so i'm going to go back to azure data factory the url already has been taken so i'm going to hit save again and see what error we get at this time or it will be successful looks like it's working just fine and now it uh, should save that customer managed key saved okay so you see right there azure key vault base url right there that's our um, url okay and now you have a customer key you have key version if you have enabled a like, git uh, um, uh, setup code repository and all that you can uh, always uh, include in the arm template and then uh, see if you need to you will be changing with the parameters uh, so include the customer managed key configuration in the arm template will include other defect 
include other factory level setting which will be overridden uh, when you deploy the arm template um, so you can include that uh, in the arm template as well okay so that's uh, it was very easy right so not big deal you are not gonna see really a whole lot of information here you all always come here same data factory but you have you can go start working on your pipelines and everything but uh, you have extra layer of uh, security so it is now it is both keys uh, the microsoft manage key plus uh, your uh, customer keys uh, both together were going to work and save your or secure your data okay so let's uh, let me give you a walk through uh, with the other option where uh, people has that uh, and uh, I'm not going to create the data factory and all that, but I just want to give you that to uh, just walk you through. So people go, uh, that that's what we were talking about here in the alternative, right here. Okay, so you go to the data factory, create, sorry, portal, go to the data, uh, create part of it, data factory. And here, what you're going to do, you're going to select the resource group, and then you're going to select the region, and let's say test ADF, okay? So in this case, uh, you will be going to the we don't get or anything like that you will be going to network and here when the people say enable manage virtual networks on the default so that's where it is talking about so you you want to once people enable this one and then they need to go to the advanced and then they will say in enable encryption using customer key so here they will provide the the name of that uh, sorry the key the key URL and uh, let's say in this case uh, if I will uh, be doing it so let me portal key vault keys copy and now you go back here and uh, once you enable this one then you're gonna paste right there and uh, after that uh, you will be having you have to have a user assigned identity for encryption so you have to create this one first and once you have that uh, then you can select this part see right there so this identity is only used to communicate with the key vault specified above please make sure you have granted access to key vault in azure in and azure active direct directive so you have to create this um, uh, assigned uh, um, identity for the encryption so once you do that then you will be able to uh, configure from here so in this is only like when people want to have this uh, enable manage virtual network on uh, default or resolved that's if they want to have this feature then they have to go to this route okay otherwise uh, the way i showed you you will be just fine thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video